What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarket.com here, back again with another video. And in this video, guys, I am going to be talking about day 15. Can you believe it? Day 15 of the 30-day challenge uh, where I am going from day 1 to day 30 of Trey Lawton's 30-day challenge from Russell Brunson's 30-day uh, challenge from this book here. Um, and we're on day 15. It's insane. I have to be a little quiet because it's late tonight. I recorded the video late, so I have to kind of keep it down, but I'm really, really excited. <laughs> That's probably the level of enthusiasm I'm going to get to. Um, today, we're going to be talking about what we have done uh, yesterday in terms of sending out emails and also what we did in terms of updates to our autoresponder and chatbot. Um, we don't have that much to go over today because it's kind of been quiet. I'm just waiting for responses from people. Um, but like I said, I'm making a video a day, so I have to kind of follow up with uh, what the process is um, going through. So. Uh, this is today's video. So before we get into that though guys, please like this video Please subscribe hit that alert button um, And if you have any comments leave those comments down below. I love the suggestions. I really really helps out the video um, So let's just get right into it. So basically I started sending out emails yesterday um, and into today as well in regards to uh, Getting some sponsors or getting some donations. So if we go to our 30 day challenge sheet I sent out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, uh, 31, 32 emails. Um, and then as the days go on, we're going to keep finding new brands that we can po possibly send out. So I got a few emails back. Um, I got a I gotta translate this. I don't. This is probably one that we're not going to be using because it's in French, and obviously we're looking to target U.S. companies. Um, let's see here. So this person saying, "Hi, if you'd like to express an interest in a new professional service, please email support business at user, and we will contact you once it becomes available." I'm not too sure if. That is an automated response, or if that is um, like someone actually typed that. It looks like someone typed that, Romsey. So uh, I'll, re I'll reply to that tomorrow. I'll just, I'll just copy over the email address. And I've gotten a few of these emails where like they're like, hey, reach out to this person. And that is because I said, if this, this little line right here, this is really keen. If this is if this is the incorrect email address, can you please forward this email to the correct person? So, if this goes to like the generic support line, um, and they read this email, uh, they will forward this to the right person, and the right person will get back to me in regards to um, anything. So, I'm gonna reply to that tomorrow, and then we have someone need for seat. It's a seat company or like a chair company for gamers. Um, they responded back to me and they said, hey there, thanks for reaching out to us. We're currently both recovering from local events and cons and prepping for a dream hack, Alana. So we'll pass on your offer. She meant to say your offer at the moment. I do wish you the best of luck and hope you have a great event. So I might respond back to her and just say thank you so much for the uh, for the luck. Um, and thank you for, you know, responding. It really means a lot. So definitely want to keep that relationship open. Maybe, who knows, maybe they have something down the line that we can use later on. Um, and then most of these are just like your request has been uh, received and it's being reviewed. So we'll probably get some more responses tomorrow from these emails. Um, so let's just go back into our autoresponder here. So if you're not familiar with the autoresponder that I'm using, I'm using Active Campaign. Um, so if you haven't watched that video, it's probably like day three, day two, maybe even day four, where. Um, I am actually talking about setting this up and how I set it up, but basically what I'm doing here, um, I set up email one, which is the welcome email, then email two, we have some simple automation. So like if they, um, if they open it, it goes to email two, but if they don't open it, then we send email one again, the welcome email as a different subject headline, just how to increase those open rates and response rates. And then it won't, if they don't, or, or if they do or don't open it, it really doesn't matter. It just goes to the next action anyway, which is email two. And then we're, we're supposed to wait a day and then we're supposed to send email three, email four, email five, email six. So in total, four emails after this email two. And those emails are supposed to be affiliate offers. But to this day, I still have not found good affiliate offers. So I'm really going to have to take the time to really search and do some um, searching in terms of affiliate offers, write some emails up. And then I'll show you guys that once I do that. Um, and then email seven is a new email that I added to the sequence. So we can check this out. Um, this is straight from the book, 30-day book, 
where Trey says on page 13, he says, email seven. Um, I'm going to ask my leads for their favorite shirt. Um, and the reason for doing that is to get a grip on what designs they like. So again, the whole point is to ask them what they like so then we can sell them what they like. Um, kind of going to the market and asking what they like and then just selling selling the things that they like, right? Um, so this is just asking, this is literally the same script that I got from the book. So if you want to pause this and take it, you can. Um, but it's basically the same script that Trey outlines in the book. Just asking for them to respond and then I have email tracking. So if someone responds to this, it'll go straight to my email and then I can see um, what that person uh, responded with. So I literally did the same thing in my bot sequence. So um, so I went over this, but I can go over it quickly again. So in growth tools, I made a button that's on my funnel. And then this is the button. It says, yo, 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 we don't have an opportunity to win more prizes. Click the button below. And then once they click that button, it goes to, it automatically subscribes them to a sequence, which is my seven day follow up. And then I, I do the same thing. I follow the same thing here. So survey, and I can even probably do some parameters where like I am, you know, seeing if they open the, the campaign or not, but that's a little more advanced and we can get into that later. Um, but basically I'm just sending out the survey as the first. So after one day that they click that button, they're going to be getting that survey email. And then uh, the next four, four messages should be affiliate offers. So I have to get that as well. So once I get the four affiliate offers for here, I'll just transfer them over to here. And then after seven days, this is where the the um, the question comes in. So, hey, first name, I'm about to do something really fun and creative uh, and would like to have your help in the process. Would you like to know what? So I'm asking them a question and then they say, sure. So the sure goes to this and it says, I'm going to be designing a good looking T-shirt that shows uh, off the passion that you have, both you and I both have for gaming. Um, so basically, it's, it's the same thing as email. It's a little shorter only because... Uh, for messages, you can't have like long copies. Um, so then I just kind of chopped it up and then share your image below, typing four seconds. Uh, this probably should be like, I'm gonna edit this. This should be like, probably like two seconds, maybe one second. So type in one second and then it says, please upload an image using Messenger. So from there, they're going to be able to uh, input a message into the messenger. So this is a pro feature that you have. You have to have ManyChat Pro for this. Um, and the reason why I'm using ManyChat now, Pesta, I, I like to view uh, more on ManyChat for this type of thing. Um, and I'm not really tracking them as crazily in, in a Pesta, so ManyChat would do fine for this. Um, and plus, I'm trying to minimize budget, and I wouldn't want to open up a new a Pesta account and spend like 30, 50 bucks a month. Um, for this. So man chat works perfectly fine. So um, they upload the message here and then I just get a response. Once they upload the message, their response is nice. That's a great shirt. Thanks. So this is, you know, this is universal. This will go for any type of shirt, you know, nice. That's a great shirt. So um, that's the key. That's a point like you want to keep in mind, like when you're writing your bot messages, you want to make sure that you're not sounding robotic and you kind of sound like a person, even though if it's a company, you still kind of want to form that relationship as if it's someone actually typing. So when you say nice, that's a great shirt. It's, it's very universal and they think that someone actually t is typing that. Uh, to make it even a step further, you can add a delay above. So after they add that, you can say typing for three seconds and then that's what the response is. So that's that. Um, so like I said, I still have to get uh, new affiliate offers for the uh, for the, the whole thing. This is probably s something that I'm slacking on, honestly. Um, but. I have other systems in place, so once I get the affiliate offers, I just have to find four good affiliate offers. Um, and then once I find those four, I could just put them inside this, the bot and put them inside the autoresponder, and then I'm pretty much done in terms of back-end systems. Um, I have the funnel set up, I have the autoresponder set up, I have the bot set up, so all I really need is to get, get at least, I would say like get at least four companies, maybe five um, companies that are willing to donate to us, and I don't think that's that hard. I just gotta, I just gotta increase the the uh, the outreach. Um, I think thirty two companies is a lot, but I want to like two x that so I can reach out to sixty uh, sixty companies, right? Um, so in the next few days, I'll probably go out and find even more companies that are into gaming or even subsets of gaming, some niches of gaming, and see if I can get some more things going in terms of that. Um, but I don't think it's going to be that hard to hopefully not that hard to get people to donate and maybe not even the value that Trey, Trey recommends like 
a three hundred to seven hundred dollar prize um, or worth pri worth of prizes, and that might be a little too much for a company to commit to based on a company that's not really um, like formed or like doesn't have social proof or anything like that. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we get some some of these companies to respond. If they don't respond, then what we're gonna do is go to the next step and kind of. Um, get them on the phones so i think that's the next best step so i'm going to find like 30 more companies maybe even 40 more companies that we can potentially work with email them um and then if that doesn't work by by uh by wednesday um we'll definitely start calling people and get them on the phone because we're running out of time it's day 15 so by wednesday will be day 17 and then we only have 13 more days to get something going so um, I definitely want to make sure that this is successful, so we're going to try to kind of amp this up. But I'm super stoked. I still think we're going in a positive direction. This has been amazing uh, amazing to film and kind of go through this with you guys and you guys interacting and commenting and um, seeing the process. And hopefully this is something that actually turns into something. I'm really I'm really optimistic about it. I, I love it. I love the, the, the grind. I love um, building these systems and implementing things. It's really, really fun for me, so I don't have any... Um, you know, regrets of doing this at all. I think it's awesome. So thank you guys so much for being here. Like I said, I'm a little quiet today only because people are sleeping. I don't want to interrupt people, but thank you guys for being here. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit that alert button so you know when I post a new video. And if you have any comments or suggestions, leave those down below. I would love to hear uh, what you got to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.